Hi, welcome. This is uh, Clemens at Elector. In this video, we will review the uh, Elector SDR hands on kit. SDR stands for Software Defined Radio, and it's a technique that relies on software to do all the hard radio work. In traditional radio, electronic circuitry takes care of uh, modulation and uh, demodulation, but uh, SDR it's all done by software. In theory, an SDR receiver only needs a fast analog to digital converter to digitize the antenna signal so that it can be further processed in the digital domain. An SDR transmitter would only need a high speed digital to analog converter and a high frequency power amplifier to push out the radio signal onto the antenna into the ether. A radio signal is nothing more than a high frequency carrier modulated by a low frequency payload. Mono FM radio, for instance, has an audio signal with a bandwidth of about 15 kHz sitting on a 100 MHz carrier. AM radio audio bandwidth is just about 5 kHz. So in many cases the bandwidth of the payload is well within range of what a computer can handle. PCs have sound cards that are just analog to digital converters that can convert the signals up to a frequency of about 24 kHz. So all you need to do SDR on a PC is a front end that can bring the input signal down into a frequency range that the PC sound card can handle. Once the radio signal is inside the computer, software can be used to extract the information from it. The Arduino shield included in this kit is an SDR front end that can receive radio signals up to 30 MHz, which is good for a shortwave radio. With it you can receive for instance some more signals, shortwave radio, single sideband stations and digital signals. Besides the shield and a plastic bag with the headers for it, the kit also contains the uh, SDR hands-on book and the plastic bag with uh, two ferrite cores and 25 centimeters of RG174 coaxial cable. Before you can use the shield you must solder the headers on it and then plug it onto an uh, Arduino Uno or compatible board. The Arduino Uno board is not included in the kit and neither are the cables that you need to connect everything to the computer. To do so you will need an uh, AB USB cable and a stereo audio cable with uh, two 3.5mm jacks on each end. Not included either is an antenna which you must make yourself. The SDR hands-on book is written by Burkhard Kainka, aka DK7JD, a well-known elector author uh, specialized in high frequency electronics and microcontrollers. Note that the book is not about Arduino nor about the shield, but about SDR that uses this combination as a tuner. The Arduino just provides an easy way to control the SI5351 frequency generator on the shield. The book starts with a short overview of the shield, but then quickly moves on to the software side of things. In chapter 1, first the J G8 J CFS. G8, GH, uh, G8, G8, JCF, G8, JCF, uh, difficult uh, name to pronounce, JCSF SDR. In chapter 1, first the G8 JCF SDR is installed, a software tool uh, created by uh, Peter Carnegie that has built in support for the Elector SDR shield. Then the book moves on to SDR Sharp by AirSpy, which offers more possibilities. In order to use it, you must install a special SDR Shield Tune tool that you can download from the kit's product page. Chapter 2 describes more in detail what you can do with SDR Sharp. Chapter 3 talks about signal integrity and interference and noise problems and sources and how to obtain the best results. In Chapter 4 the fun really starts as you will have to come up with some sort of antenna for your SDR experiments. This is where you need this bag with ferrite cores and the coaxial cable. Chapter 5 explains in quite some detail how to program and calibrate the SI5351 frequency generator that sits on the shield. Chapter 6 is dedicated to digital modes. Remember that the S in SDR stands for software and so the reader is invited to download and install various software utilities to decode for instance FSK and WSPR. Chapter 7 shows that the SDR shield can also be used as a measurement instrument in an electronics lab, for instance as a network analyzer. Chapter 8 explains how to build a standalone radio with the SDR shield. For this you will also need the Elector Arduino Experimenting Shield version 2.0. Chapter 9 turns the SDR shield around uh, to use it as a transmitter for WSPR signals. Finally, uh, Chapter 10, the last chapter, turns the SDR shield into a QRP transceiver. 
This is illustrated with photographs of flying wire circuits above uh, copper ground planes, which uh, gives it a nice radio amateur touch. So here ends our review of the Elector SDR hands-on kit. The name of the kit is well chosen. It is about the SDR and typical radio amateur things like soldering and experimenting with high frequency circuits. It's a very practical approach, but maybe uh, it's a bit too brief uh, for the newbie radio amateur. Having that said, I think it's a great way to get started with SDR without spending a lot of money and without getting involved in complex installations. Okay, that's it. I hope you found it interesting and uh, thank you for watching.